Coming at you from your vault issued Pip Boy 3000. It's Vaultcast. Title card or whatever. We could start any way you guys want to. Who wants to start? Coming at you on your. It's Vaultcast. Coming at you on your. I think Cax should say it. Well, I think we should record it and like put it before the actual podcast, like as an like opening. an opening. Yeah, like picture? an opening card thing, like an opening picture with the thing on with the phrase or whatever. So then, how are we gonna open? Are we just gonna say, "Hey guys"? We're gonna say, "Hello everyone, welcome to the very first vault cast." Yeah. That's it. We're starting right now. Okay. Oh. Oh. That I... was the start <laughs> because I I sick of running around doing. All right. <laughs> we're not running though. It's fine. Shut up. Welcome to the okay. very first Vault Cast, and today we're going to be talking about a lot of E3 stuff, which is going to be including uh, Dishonor Two, of course, Fallout Four, uh, <laughs> some of Fallout Shelter because we want to about it, and yeah. Metal Gear Solid Five. And also, are we talking about the Nintendo press conference and how awful it was? We can talk <laughs> about anything we want to talk about. We can. So, what do you guys want to talk about first? Oh, that's true. Let's oh. let's tackle the elephant in the room. Fallout. Fallout Four. Yeah, let's tackle Fallout Four. You're right. That let's that is the that. smartest place to start. So, Fallout Four. <clears throat> I need it in my life right now. Okay. End of discussion. All right. On to Dishonored <laughs> Two. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so yeah. Fallout Four looks to me like it's gonna be the best RPG. Oh, without ever. doubt. Ever. Like, without doubt. seriously, after playing Fallout New Vegas obsessively for the last, like, two weeks, um, yep, yep. looking at Fallout 4 is kind of just, like, the graphics are so amazing. It's eye candy. It, it like, is. It's it is completely eye candy. candy. It is incredible. And it, But it bothers me because so many people are... Yeah, about so many people. Oh my god, oh, you're right. it looks so bad. It looks oh, so dumb. look at the pixel blur 205 on his hand. It's gonna be a terrible game. Yeah. It's like, what? Just <laughs> shut up, people. It looks amazing. Yeah, it does look really good because you've got your people that were like, Oh, Fallout 3 was so dark and dreary. <laughs> oh, Fallout 4 is too bright. No, just shut up and play the game. Yeah, it's like, Oh, what do you expect from the apocalypse? Either it's it's supposed to be dark and dreary, and they're like, Oh, we yeah. don't like dark and dreary. It's like, Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make it bright, and they're like, "Hey, you're a," and we're just like, "Okay, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my! God. The press conference for it too was like, wow, oh. that was the best. But that's the um, one I think. Todd Howard, I want Todd Howard to adopt me. I want to adopt Todd Howard. I'm a grown man, and I want him to be my dad now. I am a minor, <laughs> and I want to, him to be my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Poor Todd. Minor. Poor Todd. He's gonna cax. You can have him on the weekends, all right? Okay, that's fine. All right. By the way, I I just realized this is a terrible mistake. We never uh, introduced ourselves. Did we? Oh yeah, we actually probably should discuss who we all are. All right, yeah, right. I start? am Justin. I'm the Flying Priest. I uh, read fan fictions and play video <laughs> games, and it's awful, and I hate my life. <laughs> that's the most accurate description. <laughs> That's what I do. I hate my life. Go. <laughs> Who's next? I'm Justin and everything sucks. Yes. <laughs> Who's next? Go. Yeah, that was it. I, <laughs> I mean, I'll go ahead and go. My go. name is Cax Earth. I do uh, okay. internet videos on the YouTubes, and you can find me on the YouTubes. <laughs> Not to be confused with fan fiction ratings. Not to be confused. And then there's a girl in the chat. Ooh. Where's, the Where's the grill? Grill. Just kidding. I'm K and oh snap, it's K and I do gaming videos and occasionally gaming news on another channel. We don't have to talk about that right now. <laughs> right now. Channel. Shut up. Right now. We have to plug everything eventually. <laughs> Is people on Steam are just like, oh, should I buy this game? I'm like, I don't know. I don't own it. <laughs> oh my god. All right. But yeah, pretty much, uh, this is our quaint little podcast where mm. we're going to be, um, I'm going to be talking about quite a few things. Obviously, it's Fallout-themed, Vaultcast, if Obviously. you didn't get that already. If, if, if you somehow missed it, you have a problem. <laughs> um, but pretty much, we're just going to be going over stuff, and let's go back to Fallout 4 now that we're done being complete. Absolutely. Minutes. Okay, so, 
Um, something a lot of people were worried about initially about Fallout 4 that I kind of want to bring up is that the dog would die. Oh, yeah. Everyone was super worried. They're like, oh, no, the dog, they're going to kill it and break our heart, blah, blah, blah. And then they I came said, right out and said, oh, no, the dog's invincible. So yeah. what? What, what do you guys think about that? Uh, for me, ridiculous. I don't think it's ridiculous because it was kind of, it, to me it was obvious from the beginning. Because if the dog's going to be such an integral part of your gameplay experience because they're really pushing what the dog could do and, you know, all the functionality, it only makes <clears> sense that you can't kill him because then suddenly a whole third of your gameplay experience is gone if he can die. And I know in Fallout 4... Or not in Fallout 4, in Fallout New Vegas. Um, if you didn't have hardcore mode on, he wouldn't die anyway. And I preferred it that way because I know a lot of people were like me. If he died, you would just load your last save and make sure he didn't die. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like cutting out the middleman kind of, just making the yeah. dog be alive. Because nobody, the I, there's a select few people out there that would just let him die and be like, oh, well, that happened. Oh, well, moving on. Yeah, exactly. Um... I'm I'm one of those people sometimes when I play and I have a companion and they die I'm just like oh, well that happened and I'm just like yeah. oh I mean but it also really depends <laughs> on the companion I mean yeah if it's like Boone I'm like no <laughs> yeah dogs are just so endearing anyway you know you don't want your dog in real life to die you wish you could go back to the last save and save him so why would you Aww. let it happen in the game Aww. I mean it's true like <laughs> dogs are amazing. Though. <laughs> Animals are amazing, period. No. I, I'm sure I'm sure the dog's important to the story. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, obviously. I mean, he obviously shows up right at the beginning of you coming out of the vault. Yeah. Or it looked like he did. Well, that might have just... I'm thinking... <laughs> when I was looking at that, I'm kind of like, eh, that's probably for, like, demo purposes. I'm sure right, you know, just walk true. out of the vault, find a dog, and just be like, oh, hey, what's up, dog? And the dog's just like, <laughs> hi, friend. And you're like, let's go, dog. The world's gone. My wife's dead. My kid's dead. It's like... Uh, my owner's dead yeah hey. yay <laughs> let's go romp <laughs> through the fields you're just like, oh, right well. go get that wrench for me yeah uh well um another thing that everyone was really worried about is the fact you wouldn't be able to play as a female now Kay, you were super excited about this because obviously i was super excited because you're a girl Anyway. I was super excited about being able to customize your character in general because i was really worried that they would just do the whole this is your character you can only play as him nothing changes and i really liked how they did the whole wife husband thing and you can make yeah. your kid oh, look yeah. like each other oh man Ugh. did you yes did you guys, my body did you guys i said this to you while we were watching that thing Kay. did you guys at all notice that the uh <laughs> the baby was black <laughs> <laughs> did you notice that Cax? Did... i Honestly, I wasn't paying that much attention. All I noticed was, I remember my remark was, that's an ugly baby. No, because, like, they had, they changed the husband to black, and then it was, it, you know, black, I guess. They rechanged it back to white. And then they changed it back to white, and then they went, and the baby was black, and I'm just like, oh my god. I, I didn't I'm like, what does that. this say about Something their relationship? <laughs> Continuity issues. <laughs> Honey? Why is the baby black? That's probably why he didn't get him in the vault quick enough. Miracle? <laughs> that's why he's the only one that survived. He killed. That's actually what happens in the vault. He just kills both of them. <laughs> so, um, all right. That's the end. What do you guys think uh, the vault is? Because obviously there's something in the vault. I think it's I, cryogenic. I, I guarantee you it's cryogenic. It would have to be just because how else would you come out of the vault 200 years later and you didn't age a day? Stem cells. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, gluten-free diets. Um, <laughs> gluten-free? Yeah, gluten-free. Dude, you, you, you don't this know. Is this the gluten-free vault? <laughs> oh, man. Everybody else got the awesome vault. He to 300. He only starts dying when he goes to the wasteland and has to eat a bunch of shit. <laughs> Your character's actually the only one that adhered to the diet. <laughs> That's Everyone why else he's is survived. Like, oh, I'll sneak a cookie. Like, your wife dies. You find her It makes me day. wonder, though. Like... <laughs> After watching that and realizing, because he pushed so hard about the fact that you are the sole survivor of the vault. Yeah. What exactly, I don't understand where the story's going to go. Because like Fallout 3, you were trying to find your dad. Yeah. New Vegas, you were trying to kill the guy who tried to kill you. In this one, you're just, you come out of the vault and it's like, okay, dealing with all this now. I don't, I'm sure something is going to be, I'm, I'm sure something is going to come up really. Right. I I. I would like to imagine it has something to do with the baby. 
Right. Like or, Raiders took your baby and you have to Or find like it. something. No, really, I think the vault's going to be cryogenic sleep, but only one pod in the entire vault uh, functions for like a certain amount of time and everyone else just dies eventually or something. That's what I'm thinking. But like, or, I, I still can't help but feel like the kid is going to be involved in this somehow because why else would it, would it matter if. A, why would it matter for like the first 10 minutes of the game if you're like, oh, look, my baby kind of looks like me and my now dead wife? It's like, yeah, right. whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's more along the lines of everybody gets frozen, but everybody's pods open at a different time. So that, you were the last person cool. to wake up. Oh, and you wake up and your kid's all like. He's like 50 or whatever. <laughs> like, Dad, why are you so much younger than me? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited. And the jumpsuit seemed very tight now. <laughs> it did? And... <laughs> it did seem really tight. It seemed quite tight. I'm glad you pointed that out. <laughs> uh, um, I was also kind of like, not really bummed out, but... I understand it's a new game and certain things, certain elements have to change, but it, it did it bug anybody else that the numbers on the vault suit were just a totally different font than they've ever been? Um, I didn't notice. Maybe that's just me being like picky. A complete nerd. Well, yeah, but <laughs> in, you know, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, you come out <laughs> and the numbers on the back, the font is the same. And then you get to four and it's like, well, you know, we had a new designer. Yeah. Nah, I get what you mean, totally. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm like curious about the vault too. The vaults have always been like slightly underground or like giant yeah. sideways doors, and this one's an elevator, and it's kind of like yeah, just like hmm. right there in the open. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like he said, oh, you, you know, during the presentation, like, oh, you survived the nuclear explosion. It's like how? It's like an elevator. How do you manage to lower the giant metal elevator with all the people? Get right. you inside and then somehow have it raise again before you all die. It's because like, it was made pretty obvious that the bomb went off before they were ever in the vault. Yeah. So yeah. And it, I love how the husband true. managed to say, "I love you," right before the f-ing explosion went off. That was. Yeah. Touching. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if that if I was in that situation, that would be the last thing to cross my mind. The first thing to cross my mind would, oh, <laughs> we need to get down now. <laughs> like everybody, do something. Have you uh? Have you ever seen those, like, old 60s instructional videos about surviving oh, nuclear yeah. explosions? They're just like, in case of a nuclear explosion, like, get under a table. It's like, oh, yeah, that's totally going to protect <laughs> that's you. That's going to help so good. <laughs> this it's isn't like, an earthquake. <laughs> it's like, oh, when the radiation sweeps through, I'm sure that table will be great. <laughs> just like the, uh, have you guys ever seen the video? I can't remember when it was It'll from. It'll fuse to your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you become a table mutant. <laughs> Uh, there's a video you may 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 or may not have seen it, but it's the president had it made. This is probably like the 50s or 60s, or no, it might have been later, like 70s when the Cold mm-hmm. War, 70s and 80s. But um, it was made to play over all the news networks in the event that nukes did go off. Oh, is it have you seen that? Is it something Wait, stupid or is it like? Yeah, it kind of is because it's literally just like it's the United States. Uh, army band or whatever just playing really sad music on loop for a long time oh my <laughs> like it's, it's just not like, like a, hey we're we lose <laughs> we're done yeah it's not like hey here's some instructions on how to survive it's just all right everybody's it's everybody's going to die <laughs> here's some music for you to cry to while your family evaporates <laughs> <laughs> you know your dog fluffy you know your dog fluffy That's he's so a true. shadow on the wall he's stuck there forever <laughs> yeah. He's that smudge on the window now. Don't you wish you could rewind and save the dog? Aw. Don't you wish you could load your last save? Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, uh, something else new I noticed about uh, the trailer is the new dialogue. They have the oh, buttons yeah. now. They have it set up as buttons instead of, Yeah, it's like, not a whole menu. Yeah, which which is, like, I can get it, kind of, but I don't like it, honestly. I like it. I like it because of the fact that, like Todd was saying, you can walk away at any time. Because one of my biggest pet peeves with the Fallout games is, you know, you get into a conversation to try to figure something out, and then you've got to navigate your way all the way to the bottom of the list oh, yeah. and find the button that says, hey, wait, never mind, uh, or, bye-bye. Or it's worse, you're stuck in the thing where it's just like, oh, yeah, like, blah, 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 so something totally uninteresting, and then it's like your two options are either continue or, like, be in and then you have to continue and it's just yeah. like i want to continue not or lose karma yeah it's like uh <laughs> yeah 
So I, I guess that is kind of cool. I like, but I'm not sure. I like the old menu thing, but I don't know. I mean, it's cool. I, it would have been neat if there was like an option. Yeah, you know, probably. But but I, I don't do, know. I'll, I'll, I'll like try it. I'll give it a try. I mean, the entire user interface has been so overhauled. I think it looks great. I think it looks sleek. Yeah. Uh, it looks new and shiny. Just like, hey, that's uh, just me. you know, you expect a post-apocalyptic world to look like new and shiny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. new and shiny. What do you think, Kay? You've been pretty quiet. I mean, I'm still working on Fallout 3. I don't have a lot to say because I just don't. <laughs> what do you mean you're still working uh, Blowing on up Fallout Megatons, 3? the best decision. I'm playing Fallout 3 and I'm going to start Make sure you blow up Megaton because if you don't, the rest of the game will be ruined. Everybody hold on. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me, Kay, that you've never played through Fallout 3? And no! I, I noticed this during the press conference. She was getting so excited. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so excited. And I'm like, Kay, what's your favorite Fallout game? She's like, I never beat one. Like, what? I'm like, you haven't? <laughs> I don't know if we could be friends anymore. That's... Yeah. No, I'm playing it right now. Those I played are heavy it before I even knew. I played it before I even knew that Fallout 4 was coming out. Oh my goodness, Kay. I'm sorry! That that hurts my heart, man. It was a show Cax, for what, which which Fallout <laughs> games have you played? I have played all of them. I have played all of them, but I never got past the first like few screens of one and two. Uh, I've I've played through one and most of two. The only one I haven't really tried too much on. If is you say Brotherhood tactics, oh, I was gonna say if you say is that Fallout Tactics? Uh, maybe Fallout Tactics is the one that's kind of like XCOM. <clears throat> They're all a little bit like XCOM, if you really think about it. I mean, yeah, but it, like know, extremely squad-based movement with like action right. points and stuff. Yes. And, it but is. the reason, it's not that I didn't like it. The reason I didn't play through a lot of it is because, and I'm guessing it's more or less just it's such an old game, and I've been playing it on newer computers. All of the <laughs> colors are wrong. Yeah, I get like that with Fallout wrong. One. Yeah. Fallout See, one, I was able to what... fix Fallout One. But for some reason, I haven't been able to find like a patch or anything for Brotherhood of Steel. But maybe I should look back into that. Yeah, I don't. I follow tactics on Steam. That's like, let me check right now. I don't know how much, how many hours I have pumped into that. But I have like an inane amount. Oh yeah. It won't show me because I'm offline. But I don't know it, though. I mean, as far as favorites, <laughs> like if you want to talk new favorites, as far as three or New Vegas, a lot of people don't like me for my opinion on that. But I prefer New Vegas. You know what? Same. A lot of people are just like, oh, but New Vegas is bad and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, yeah, but you'd be a cowboy. And I like the brown tint more than the green one, kind of. Well, you know, they're both amazing. And I can spend months playing both of them. But there was just certain improvements in New Vegas for me that made it better. Hardcore mode made it a lot more fun for me. Um, It just gave me something to come back and play, more replayability. Um and the whole crafting system, even though it wasn't polished, and I'm hoping that in four they're gonna work on that a whole lot and make it a lot oh, better. Oh, obviously, you saw that. Well, in the obviously, trailer. but I mean, as far as like not even just weapons and stuff. I mean, you know, you used to go to campfires and you could make this medicine out of these ingredients. I want to see more of that because, yeah. and but I like the way they did it too because it wasn't a necessity. You didn't have to do it, but if you did it, it was a, a rewarding experience. Yeah, it could kind of save your skin sometimes. Right. So, Kay, why do you like Fallout New Vegas? <laughs> I like the colors and the characters, and I like how I can make my character, and I don't know. I've not played I like the icon. The icon. <laughs> I, I, I like the promotional art. <laughs> no, seriously, though, Kay, I really want you to, once you play through uh, New Vegas and 3, I would like to have this discussion again because I'm curious what you would like more. Um, I I I think solely I just like honestly I'll be fully honest I like New Vegas more because on Steam until today actually I haven't owned Fallout Three on Steam I played it on my PS3, right? Um, so I've just been modding the f- New Vegas and I played Project Brazil which is like the best mod I've ever played. You've been playing oh, that yeah. for five years. I have. Every time I get on Steam, it says Justin is now playing blah, 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 for five more hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But I've actually, uh, I've got mine right now modded to an extent that I'm just going to have to scrap it and like go back to vanilla and remod it because I messed <laughs> something up somewhere and now there's, you know, a bunch of missing textures. 
that happened to me a while ago. I couldn't even launch the game. I was like, oh, great. I can't. Like, I can't <laughs> play it when there's, like, some dude runs up to me, but his <clears throat> entire body is engulfed in a giant red exclamation point. It's beautiful. <laughs> Or I'll pull just, out a gun. Just a big exclamation point. You pull out a gun and it's just like an exclamation point. You're like, oh. Yeah, I pull out a gun and it's like all I can see is red everywhere. And I'm like. <laughs> but yeah, oh my, at least know. there's more color. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> all right. Something else about Fallout 4 that I personally am extremely si- excited for is it is right here in Massachusetts yes. for me. It is right at home. I think it's. How to say this? It's. Mm, it's an interesting choice. It, it because... definitely is an interesting choice, but like I, be, having seen the city in real life, I totally could imagine it like blown up. I mean, that's I could, that's a bad. Thing I could to imagine say, how cool that would be. <laughs> like if, if it was a city closer to me, like Nashville or something, I could totally understand. Like, yeah, there's a different like... feel to knowing that the game that you're playing is based on a city that you've been in. <laughs> yeah, it's like when I play New Vegas, it's like oh, like whatever, this is a place, and it's like I don't, I've never been there before. It's whatever. right, right. But it's like Boston, like, oh, Logan Airport. I'm like, I've been to Logan Airport. I've been there so many times. It's so cool. Right. And it's rumored that uh, from those documents leaked like a year ago that uh, Brotherhood of Steel is supposed to occupy, um, what did you say, Logan Airport. Right. <clears throat> no, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, having it really close to home is just, like, super cool for me. And I'm super proud. The oh, map I'm is sure. supposed to be extra big, so maybe you'll find your house, Justin. Yeah, Kay was joking about that. that <laughs> I would just be walking around Fallout, and I'd just wander a little too far, and then it'd just be my house. And I'd oh, walk I in. Up. I'd walk in. I'd walk up the stairs, and there'd just be a desk, and there'd be a skeleton on a computer. I'd be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Fault cast is put on the, uh, the monitor. <laughs> it's the video of YouTube, but you two are skeletons too. <laughs> <laughs> like just a live stream that somehow managed to make it through the blast Still it's just been running for like 200 there. years <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh no well but i mean all in all and this is another topic that we'll probably discuss more later in this but to me bethesda just won e3 with that that whole showcase. they did they they Start won e3 finish. in so many ways they during it they were blowing my mind after it yeah. i was a little more disappointed you know fall of shelter we'll, we'll talk about that in a few minutes actually we're gonna uh... get a few more things out of the way. we'll talk we'll talk about that in a few minutes <laughs> yeah um but they just completely blew my mind well just but like after e, after e3 it's like a few days after it's like oh there are no more pit boy editions left if you got one oh if you yeah pr- they're all gone yeah they're they're serious gone. yeah like amazon Gone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Kay, did you already order yours? I ordered mine off Amazon like the uh, night. Kay. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just you know, throwing this out there. Cax, can we go I kill might her? end up coming to kill you and taking that. <laughs> and then Cax, <laughs> Cax I had no idea they were sold out. Yeah, no, they're they're sold out everywhere, dude. Like maybe oh. you can go to like a cheap little retro store near you and they'll be like, Oh yes, we have like four pre orders and you'll be like, I'll take one. But probably so, not. <laughs> That sucks so bad. And what I'm worried most about is I'm getting, in like a few days, I'm getting a big phone. Like, I have this phone right here. You can't see it right now. Oh, yeah. But it's like a LG, and it's already, like, probably too big to fit it. And I'm getting this giant thing. It's like a phablet. <laughs> I know it will not fit the Pip-Boy. So yeah, I'm like, I'm half, I'm kind of happy they're sold out because I would buy one if they weren't. I mean... For me, you even if my it? phone couldn't fit it, I would still want to own it just as a piece of memorabilia. But I, I thought about that because, you know, they were pushing the whole Apple thing with uh, Fallout Shelter. And I wondered if it was going to be Apple only. But that wouldn't really make sense in the long run. It wouldn't be a good strategic move. And I yeah. wonder if they don't have some sort of... I think it's uh, adjustable. It would yeah, some sort adjustable. of adjustable straps or something yeah. inside of that. Like... I the only reason I kind of wanted one is me and Kay talked about this. Uh, Pax East uh, cosplaying Fallout. Oh right, that would, I, I be can't now. Times She's East. gonna show up in a fancy Fallout cosplay, and I'm gonna show up in, in uh, what are they called? What are the shitty sweatpants? Sweatpants. Sweatpants and um. Like spray painted blue. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sweatpants spray painted <laughs> blue and a shitty Fallout t-shirt with holes in it. <laughs> yeah. Like draw the Pip-Boy on your arm. Yeah. It's made out of cardboard. 
<laughs> and then Kay's gonna be standing there. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, can I take a picture with you, Vault Girl? And you're just be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then they're gonna look at me and be like, who the f are you? <laughs> That girl's got a great outfit, but man, that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have like a full beard. I'm just gonna have like sleepy eyes, with, like paranoid looking. Sleep deprivation. Where did you come from? <laughs> They're like, he smells like cat pee. <laughs> <laughs> he smells like real Fallout. <laughs> he is the real, the real Fallout. This is our, our, our authentic. I got it. <laughs> There you go. There you go. You're reaching so hard for that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, authentic. Got it. Um, I want to talk about another special edition before we close out the podcast. By the way, before the end, I want to talk about Metal Gear Solid Five and how angry I am at Japan. Okay. <laughs> That's very broad. Talk about it right now, Justin. <laughs> and there goes our Japanese viewership. <laughs> um. um. We'll move on to Fallout Shelters right after this, but I'm going to mention yeah. this real quick. We'll, we'll talk in full about Metal Gear Solid Five later. Obviously. But there are two things so far angering me about Metal Gear Solid Five. I'll just talk about the one I was going to mention. Um, in America, if you get the premium edition of the game, you get this, like, one to two... or You get, like, a half-scale model of the uh, bionic arm that Snake has in the game. The red one. And wow. I'm like, oh, that's so cool i thought it was full size originally though it's only a hundred dollars for this but you get a half size one and it's a nice little statue and it's like i would like that sure but japan you pay like an extra hundred dollars or whatever and you get a full human sized bionic red arm that snake used What? and that is so cool and it's japan only and i'm gonna kill myself guess we have to move to japan now yeah i guess so vault cast in japan vault (laughs) vault of castaru i mean that's racist. Anyway, um... <laughs> yes, Justin son. Oh, oh Cax, comma! I mean, Sama. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so right, let's, just, let's, uh, let's talk about Fallout Shelter. K- Go K- ahead K-San. and brag, Justin. I'm not gonna brag. Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, Conte- context here, context here. We're all Android people. We're all Android people. IPhone. But I well, borrowed... I bo- Shut up. I borrowed a friend's uh, iPhone 4 to play fallout shelters right right so i'm the only one here who's actually played it yes and i could say it is extremely addicting it's extremely fun and it is poorly optimized it is very poorly optimized because this is only like how many years old is this three (laughs) three year old phone uh the four yeah came out in 2010 because i was looking at those recently five year old phone um oh you were looking at one recently yeah i was like i need to get an iphone now (laughs) and that's the only one in my price range (laughs) No, that's what I thought too. This was twenty. Guys, this is twenty bucks if I want to keep it. What? It's coming out in a month. There's no reason to buy an iPhone just for this game. Hey, you just fall don't out. Fall out. Shut don't, up. Okay. Don't blow your smoke at me. I saw that. <laughs> hey, maybe if you Miss played, Ob maybe if you beat Fallout. three in New Vegas, you'd understand me and Cax. Yeah, okay. I want to yeah. play it just as much, but I'm not going to go buy a stupid iPhone for it because I am right. so against I iPhones. You're right. We're not going to buy a stupid iPhone. We're going to buy the highest generation iPhone to get the optimal no. Fallout Shelters experience. You're right, though, Kay. Never. I mean, if it's, only, if, if it's only a month until it comes out on Android, <laughs> I'll wait the month. Yeah, but literally no, the I'm only app to... installed on this is Fallout Shelter. Um, right. And I could just say that it is... A good, it's really good. Like, I can imagine... If I played it fluently without bugs, it would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, I would waste so much time on it. Right. But for now, it's buggy as on anything that's below an iPhone 5, I think. Oh, wow. um, Or, like, an iPad. <laughs> so, my experience with it so far is extremely fun. It has unique characters from uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and, like, or Fallout 3 and I think Fallout 4, maybe. Um, and it's, like, I'm terrible at it. I'm really <clears throat> bad at it. I have a 7% out of 100 approval rating for my vault. Um, wow. <laughs> every, everyone died from rad roaches pretty quickly. Um, I'm Didn't not, even make it to the Raiders. I am not very... Yeah, no, Raiders have never appeared for me, but, like, my vault ends up dead every time. Wow. Um. So, I'm pretty bad at it, but honestly, when they announced that Fallout Shelters would be coming out that night at the press oh, conference, no, me yeah. and Kay lost our... F- <laughs> it was just screaming for, like, a minute. It was just like, oh, I was oh shit! <laughs> I was I was on a call with uh, with Taser and Derby Thunder and we were all just screaming as hard as we could into the mic. It was because it was just the fact that 
okay, that's awesome. But when's that coming out? And then when he ends it and he's like, actually, you can get that as soon as this ends. That is such um, a great probably. way to have a presentation, though. Make a game and then release it in the middle of the presentation. Absolutely. To hype like, the audience. And that is and so have smart. Have you guys read? Have you guys read that actually it has already uh, – it has taken Candy Crush Saga off the number one spot. I am on the so app happy about that. I wow. hate Candy Crush. It is the new number one app. And you have, if for anybody, obviously everybody by now has probably heard about Candy Crush Saga. But that game has been such a big deal. I never played it. I never cared. But no. it's been the biggest deal for the past year and a half, two years. And for this to come out, what, last week, week and a half ago, and already just knock it off the charts. Or not off the charts, but, you know, out of the first position. Uh, yeah, that's incredible. First place. Um, that's incredible. Can we can we mention that there are already Instagram accounts dedicated to showing you the lives of the vault dwellers in yes. this game? Yes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> most of the, you know, most of the pictures so I've weird. seen. No, most of the pictures I've seen from Reddit are mostly just, like, glitches in the game where it's, like, a little boy and then, like, a full-grown woman and they have a kid and it's like, okay. Oh, wow. There are too many pictures like that right now. There's way too many pictures. And it's All of the, actually, uh, I was looking at some of those pictures today and there's some hilarious ones. There are like, some uh, ones. At one point, a bunch of kids were having a night out at the bar. Like, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, because they the glitch bar. and they just are just like, oh, yeah, they're still kids. And they're or, adults, uh, so. like, the doctor would be working on something and, and I, I haven't played the game, so I wouldn't know, but he's working on something in a wow. lab and there's just a pile of bodies and he's just having the best time. He's making stim packs <laughs> or right away then. He's, right. having, he's having the jolliest of times. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like the kids in the game are always smiling. They're always happy. And whenever, right. whenever I there's a kid in the vault, I can't help but name that little smiling kid something like huge Larry or whatever. <laughs> I always, no, I have big Larry, fat Larry, little Larry, micro Larry, and then I have Paul. Wow. Paul. <laughs> yeah, it's Paul. Nobody likes Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul was balding when he was born. Oh my god. <laughs> he, no, Even some of them, some of them have like... the default hairstyles. They're just like balding when they're little kids. It was like, wow. oh, <laughs> like the radiation. <laughs> Even his parents knew. They were like, we're not even going to try to give you a cool name. You're Paul. <laughs> They're like all the, you don't even got, the, I don't know. I think micro Larry's got to ruin it. I mean, yeah. I think he had really high charisma too. I think he had like fine <laughs> charisma. So I paired him with a few women. I'm just like, ooh, I guess it. All but, right. but aside from the fact on. that all Android users are pretty salty right now that they can't play Fallout oh, Shelters. Yeah. I could say, up, I could say it is. my Twitter at all of the people playing fallout shelters and i flipped my tables every day tired of seeing it oh, tired okay. of it Ti i can't lift this one but i can i can say from someone who's played it um though it's on this phone fallout shelters is definitely good like it is it is gonna be such a great time waster and i'm gonna be like it's not even a time waster i would spend an hour sitting here looking at the phone waiting for shit to happen like <laughs> that is more than a time waster. That is literally like I am involved. It was. Right. It's good. Right. But so if uh, you wait, I have a question. Yeah. If you don't get on it for a while, assuming that you actually have been away from your phone for at least a little bit, does, does anything happen? Like, does it? Oh, like you if you close, like, so and so is hungry. You, or yeah, if you close the app, then nothing happens. But I usually don't close the app, so I open up my phone. And I always get notifications like, oh, five new babies have been born in your vault. Name them. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Here, name these kids. But that's it. There's no, like. But, no. And it, it's also like, oh, you have new productions done because you, like, produce stuff like it showed. It's like, oh, your productions are done. And it's like, oh, a wanderer has returned from the wasteland with new supplies or whatever. So right. it's annoying if you leave the app open. If you're not, if you, if this is literally a Fallout Shelter machine, so whenever it informs me that I have Fallout Shelter stuff, I don't care. It's meant for that. Right. But if it's your normal phone, then you're going to be getting a lot of notifications. Well, I'm sure if there's not already, there'll probably be a patch that allows you to turn off notifications or something. Well, I'm sure you can turn them off already. I just don't try because I don't care. But you know. right. Um. So definitely get that when it comes out. But you know, for the normal people with Androids. But um, for now. Huh. Let's move on to, what do you guys think, Nintendo, Dishonored, or Metal Gear Solid? Let's save Metal Gear Solid for the end there. Let's yeah, go ahead and get through Nintendo and that's a, That's another game me and Cax have 
both played lots of and K has probably not touched. Oh, yeah. I can almost guarantee it. Okay. Why did you guarantee it? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, what Metal Gear Solids have you played? Now that I know that you haven't played Fallout all 3 or them. New Vegas, I don't I just don't believe it. Okay, you. name all the Metal Gear Solids in order uh What? Two, in three, order four, of canon. <laughs> name them in order of canon. Canon? I don't know. I haven't played them. I was really sheltered child, okay? I don't want to talk about it. I I, I was about Pokemon. to just start naming them all off in canon and then I was uh, you know what? Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, there's a PSP game, I forget, Tactical Ops, I think it's Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, Phantom Pain, <sighs> Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 4. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Get on my level, K! Hey, anyway, we're, uh, what are we gonna talk about? Anyway, <laughs> Not let's Metal move Gear on. Solid. We'll go ahead and get Dishonored out of the way, since it's also a Bethesda game. Alright, um... Dishonored's not, like, my favorite. I'm ever. the same way. It's not my favorite, but it's good. Okay, if you love Dishonored, how about you, uh... How about you lead us on that? Yeah, you take the lead on this. I don't have... I mean, I don't have a lot to say because I didn't look really in-depth in it, but I think it's really cool that you can play as uh, Emily. I think her name yeah, is. Yeah, right? I didn't look super in-depth into it, but I know that I beat Dishonored 1 in, like, four hours with a friend once. I'll be honest, I've never beaten Dishonored 1. No, you haven't? No, I, I actually good. haven't played through the whole game. I don't know why. I just it, it, It's good. I like it. I never... But from, from an outsider's point of view, when I watched the uh, the footage at the Bethesda conference, to me, just looking in on it, it looks... And this is going to... I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, and I'm sorry to the people out there that uh, are huge uh, Dishonored uh, fans. Uh, 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 uh. It looks like an Assassin's <laughs> Creed copy. Well... It, it looks like steampunk Assassin's Creed. That is pretty much what uh. Dishonored... Well, no, it's... Okay. Well, I could see how you could see that by the, um... Like, how you run and jump and climb things, but the storyline... And, and assassinate people completely. and use gadgets and But you don't have to do that, though. You don't have to assassinate people. And wear a mask and a hood and... Okay, let's, know, let's get this out of the way. Everything is going to have something that reminds you of something else because everything has already been done. So you You're can't right. you can't avoid that. But Dishonored does bring something different to the table where... It's like how pens remind me of Wolf of Wall Street now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, have you seen that movie? <laughs> no, yes. I haven't seen that movie. I was looking around for something to compare that to, and I saw a pen. I'm like, oh, what do I think of when I see pens? I'm like, oh, Wolf of Wall Street. You've seen it, Cax. You know what I'm talking Funny about. Funny story. I went into that movie uh, not really paying attention and didn't realize until I was about two and a half hours in that it was over three hours long. Oh, yeah? And by the time I realized that, it was too late, and I was like, well, I guess I'm finishing this now. It's, so. it's good. I like that movie. All right. Well, but anyway, <laughs> Dishonored. I, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> but uh, we, were, the story we were talking line... about how it looks like a cess. I just found this thing on my desk, and I smelled it, and it smells like deodorant. I'm not going to ask. Um... <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Kate. Go right ahead. <laughs> No, the storyline is amazing, and I, I'm really big into storylines, and I don't know, the, the the scenery and that all that was created by the people who made Half-Life, so for me it was like, oh man, I love Half-Life, so I have to play it, and I really enjoyed it, honestly. I liked how you could do the, uh, you could either kill everybody, and you would get one ending, and you could just avoid everybody, you can get a different ending, so... It's worth playing. I really enjoyed it. At least we know now what the people from Half-Life have been doing instead of Half-Life 3. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> probably. Um, something I, I beat Dishonored 2 quite a few times. Like I said, I speed run. I oh? I what? Play, I beat it twice. Uh, not Dishonored beat, 2. I mean Dishonored oh. 1. <laughs> Shut up. Didn't mean to, I was looking at the paper that said Dishonored know. 2. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I beat Dishonored 1 quite a few times. I beat it like once, or I mean twice or three times. Um... But they're all like speed runs of it, pretty much. Okay. Um, I'm curious about how they're gonna bring everything together because Dishonored One at the end, each ending of it wrapped up the story of the game pretty much in a nice little like everyone dies package kind of like the very end of life kind of thing. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you if you beat the game, you kind of know what I'm talking about. At the end of the game, they're just well, I'm not gonna ruin anything, but they they wrap right, it up right. in a way that it seems like you could not make a sequel of, but. Somehow they're making a sequel of it with two with the two main characters, and I'm just kind of 
concerned about how they're going to be doing that. But, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, they, they'll find ways to do it. If they can make some guy live for 200 years inside of a giant metal vault, then I guess they can... Uh, yep. Says they will find a loophole. Invincible dogs, whatever. Okay. So let's let's hate on Nintendo for a minute. Let's completely destroy Nintendo. And what did you... What were you even trying to do, Nintendo? Um, what? what? The Muppets, clearly. Yeah, Muppets <laughs> and... I hate to say, us... I love those puppets. I love Muppets them. and not giving us anything that we can look forward to. Uh, I mean, puppets like, wise, instance, the show was 10 out of 10. Uh, non puppet wise, it was pretty lackluster. I mean, uh, really... for instance, you've you've managed to piss off the Metroid audience so much that there is a petition to cancel the game you announced. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> you guys know about this. Yeah, no. no, I do know about this. There is a petition to cancel the Metroid game they announced. And I don't completely blame these people. Yeah, I don't blame them either, because they've been waiting since Metroid Prime for, like, this new awesome game, or Metroid Other M sucks. We can agree with that. It kind of right. sucked. Um, they've been waiting for another really good Metroid game, and then yeah. Nintendo's like, all right, we've got Metroid for you, and it's going to be graphics, four-person combat, no Samus. It's literally a game that has nothing to do with Metroid, Metroid Slap in the name. It's, yeah. just like, it, it's really what it feels like. It feels like they just put the Metroid name on some other game that they were making. Yeah. And so, then, uh, on top of that, have you have you guys read the uh, the interview? I think it was with Reggie about the reason they didn't show any Zelda U footage. Why? Because okay, first of all, for anybody who doesn't know me, uh, you can look at my arm here. On huh. my arm. Here. Oh, no, dude. I'm a colossal Legend of Zelda fan. I never saw that. I adore the Legend of Zelda. So, I'm obviously excited about Zelda U, or Wii U, whatever you want to call it. But apparently, the reason they didn't show it is, quote, because they were afraid it would frustrate gamers. Because they only wanted to show games that would be released this year. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nintendo. But you can't... Uh, right now, Zelda U is the main thing you have going for you. So if you have anything that you can show us, and according to this interview, they had footage they wanted to show us, but they decided not to. That if you have anything that you can show us, that. you should have shown it to us. That That's could have so saved weird. your whole conference. But you were like, oh no, it's not gonna come out this year, so that's gonna people off. No, I just wanna get, uh, get me more hype for that. They announced Final Fantasy VII Remake, and it's, it's in production. They don't even have an announcement. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And everybody because was, they like, know. losing their minds. Yeah, because and Nintendo, know. it's just like, oh, you guys have a new Star Fox. That's great, but your console is failing. Did you did you yeah. hear, like, right after, or, like, sometime after their presentation in the last, like, week, Reggie went ahead and we're already talking. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to be releasing a new home console in, like, a year or two or whatever. Yeah. And, it's like, and I own a Wii U, and that it disturbs me. It, no, you know what disturbs me is that, I have to get rid of this Wii U before it becomes worthless. Because Uses. now, yeah. yeah, because it's like, okay, Zelda U, I love Zelda. But at this point, it's like, do I really want, like, I could sell my Wii U right now 175 yep. flat. I could sell it for 175 That, to me, is almost more valuable than Smash Bros., and a Zelda game, which I'm, oh, I'm gonna beat the, I'm gonna beat the Zelda game, and then what? It's just like, I'm not gonna replay it for another year or two. Like I love Zelda, I love it so much, but I, at this point, the only reason I still have my Wii U is because I like to have people over and play Smash. Yeah, I and mean that's ninety percent of the reason I ever turn on the Wii U is Smash Brothers. That is the only reason I ever turn on the Wii U. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, every once in a while we'll play Mario Kart, but that's it. Yes, I don't even own Mario Kart. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think half. I don't think any of the games they've released are worth my money. And everyone is like, "Oh, but what about Splatoon? It, it's so good." Like, it's not for me. It really isn't. Yeah. I mean, and on top of it, on top of all of this, they decided to end pushing what to me is not even a game. They were pushing Mario Maker so hard and. Oh. Uh, the, the concept, Mario Maker. Oh, cool. oh. Interesting, but not what you want to close out your conference with. Oh, and it's like Mario Maker. Please, like, I haven't been making Mario levels on, like, Flash games on, like, Newgrounds or something. There's for a, a few million years. Mario parodies, Mario Flash games. 
People it's, have been doing this like, for years. Yeah, it's just like, oh, it's not unique anymore. It's whatever. It's so like, exactly. there's so much stuff you could do on the computer now that it's just yeah. like, you don't need a game for. You don't. And you know and what? You know what? I know people love them and I know people lose their minds. I have a friend who just loses his mind over these. But Amiibos, I am sick of them. I have never liked them. They're pointless. I have two of them right here. Except for your Amiibos because I love you. Um, well, that's, I mean, it's just more or less I own those because of Smash Brothers. Yeah. That, no, Any here's, other games here's even useless. the thing about it. I think they're gimmicks yes. and I think they're going too far. Like yeah, the yeah. new uh, Animal Crossing game. Did you know, in order to play that, you need the game, $60, and four Amiibos, which all cost about $12 serious? each. Yeah, you need an Amiibo for each person. I had no idea about that. That's what I've heard, at least. I believe that's wow. true. That or I'm being a total with misinformation right now, but I, I think I'm right. I just, I think we can say that overall, Nintendo easily had the worst show at E3. They, they absolutely did. And yeah, they announced Star Fox and... That's cool. And they announced Star the new Fox Zelda game, had. even. They announced, uh, what is it called? Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. This, uh... Right, right. Yeah, and, like, that looks cool. That looks kind of cool. And, like, I would give it a try. But really, Nintendo, for me, has finally, I think, lost any and all charm for me. They really have, and it, it hurts because... It does. Nintendo was my introduction to video games as a child. When I was three, we owned a Super Nintendo, and that's what got me into video games. I didn't own a console that wasn't Nintendo until I owned a PS2, and by then I already had an N64 and a GameCube that I had played the ever-living out of. Yeah. So for them to, at this point in my life, be just flailing so hard, trying to stay relevant, but giving us crap titles, crap consoles, and, and on top of it, you have things like, for instance, their whole YouTube policies, which me off yeah, as a youtube gamer i have a million nintendo games that i would love to put on my channel but i can't because nintendo is going to attack me personally and either shut my channel down or just completely take all of the proceeds not that i'm making money anyway the money isn't the point but the point is they're going to shut me down and that's not cool at this point nintendo needs people to make them relevant again and i feel that if they would allow youtube creators to play their games openly like many other companies do that could help make them relevant again. Yeah, it, it definitely could. And the, the way they're pushing it right now is like, I don't know. For me, it's always been like, I see someone let's play. Me and Kay were talking about this. Um, Kay, we're talking about how when you see someone like let's playing Mario and it's so just like, eh, it's You're, so, you don't feel yeah, like, you, I don't, don't want to watch it. you play a game that's, it's just, I don't know the way it's Nintendo. When you play that game, those kind of games, and I, I have, watch I them. cannot watch Let's Plays of Nintendo games. Sometimes I can watch old ones. Like yeah, I love watching Let's Plays of Donkey Kong Country. I love Game Grumps. I love all right. the shit they have to offer. I love all the old games. But like when you, it's like, oh, new Super Mario Bros. I'm playing episode like 27. It's like cares. I mean, right. It's getting I mean, to the I point would... where Nintendo is so decreasing in relevancy. They really are, and it, it hurts because it's like my childhood burning and crashing. But, yeah. I mean, if it hits, it's almost at the point where it's like I almost wish they would sell their great franchises to the other companies and just give it up. It's, and that's kind of an extreme statement, yeah, but I would that, rather that, see that other companies. Extreme, but I, I'm a bit I would rather it. see, like, Sony take over The Legend of Zelda than to watch Nintendo just smash it into the floor until it's completely useless. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? I agree with all of you. I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> wow, you are very quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't add anything unless I feel it needs to be added. I don't need to add anything. Well, oh, hey, nothing wrong with that. Me and Cactus so, can talk. But, I mean, you know, the way it is right now, down. like even right now in the recent week, due to something that I'm going to mention about Metal Gear Solid 5 in a few minutes, actually. Oh, uh, um... Sorry, there was a few other things that you wanted to talk about. I don't know if you want to interject them later or not. What are they? You wanted to talk about uh, Twitch bans, the adult-rated games, and Did XCOM I? 2, and... Uh, we'll touch on those really quick, because I don't know much about them, and I'm not as big and pumped about them as I am with Nintendo and Fallout and stuff, or Metal Gear Solid 5. We'll touch those really quick, then. But, um, but I was going to say... 
due to something we're going to talk about in a bit then about Metal Gear Solid, like, I am looking at how I can sell my Wii U and my 3DS and all of my games. I'm going to, of course, keep my Wii so I can play my GameCube stuff, which I love, my, Ninte uh, my Nintendo Wii stuff, which I love. But it's like anything past that is just not worth it to me anymore, and I don't like it, and it's not fun. I don't play them, yeah. so I'm selling them, and I'm gonna try and get myself a PS4, which I was. Originally I own a PS4, against. and I would just I will tell you from the start, it's definitely worth purchasing. All right, good. It is an excellent console. So, um, yeah, that's that's all I really got to say about Nintendo. I think they're. On a spiral. I, I completely agree. They're going it, down. It's a slap in the face, and it, it's irritating, but. It's just beating a dead horse at this point. So, I mean, let's we'll touch on those two topics or the two or three topics that Kay brought up real quick. How All about right. Twitch banning adult games? Um, I think that is a good move, honestly. I mean, people should definitely have the freedom to stream what they want, but when it comes to adult games, it's just kind of like that will give Twitch a really bad reputation really quickly. I could see I how that would definitely bring it down. I don't feel like it, it should even be a question. I don't feel like it should matter because, for one, you have basically two levels of adult games. You have your outright porn games. Yeah, that's, which that's what I don't I'm watch considering. Anybody, I don't that... want to watch anybody play a porn game. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you also have your games that are just rated adults only, which also there are, like, what, five in existence? There's yeah. not very it's many like, adults It's like, oh, only. you can't play Hatred. And it's like, right. I hate to break it at you, everyone. Hatred is not a giant, edgy game like everyone thought it would be. Hatred's bad. I own Hatred. It is not fun. I've never fun. played it. It's not fun. It's not good. Not a good game. Not a fun game whatsoever. It is just so, kind I mean, of... It's not. I'm not going to say garbage. I'm not going to be like that, but it's pretty pretty close it sounds like you were just supposed to go out and just kill everybody like there that's was what no it is. Plot. you start it's like it oh no go and shoot <laughs> civilians it's like okay and yeah. i do it and it's just like what is you the... could do that in gta like it's like it's exactly like, it's not there's nothing brutal there are definitely some harsher swears but there's like it's whatever it's i mean that's to me that's just this shouldn't even be a question yeah and it's something that uh, i don't feel like not to say, uh, not to say there's no point in touching on because obviously we already have, yeah. but it's almost pointless to talk about because it's something that it, it doesn't matter in the end. It's not going to affect anybody who actually goes to watch Twitch. It's not going to affect their experience. Yeah. Yes, like you said, everybody should have the uh, ability to stream what they want, but who's really trying to stream porn games? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to watch Sweaty Mickey from down the street playing. Exactly. <laughs> It's playing, and so I'm good with yeah. that. Thank you. You mean the games that you play on your channel? Um, the fan fictions I read, <laughs> fan fictions. XCOM okay, two. yeah, XCOM two. So XCOM you, two. you did. You said you didn't have much to say about this. I feel like I have a lot I could say about this. Oh, about okay. Then I'll, I'll let you run your mouth after I say my thing. Then, but um, yeah, you see, I X. When it comes to XCOM, I am not gonna pretend like I'm that super fan. I'm not. I played XCOM. Uh, I think it's Enemy Unknown, and I downloaded Enemy Within for it. Right, right. And I love that game so much. So when I heard they're like, oh, they're making another XCOM game, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, it's kind of going to be like the, it's going to be the, like the same thing. I love strategy games like that. So I'm definitely going to give it a try, probably. Um, but as far as it goes, they're calling it XCOM 2, and it's not the Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within series. So I'm, I'm kind of in the dark about it a bit, so... Uh, that to me is more of an oversight from the company, really. I hadn't thought about that at this point, but it's it seems very clear to me, graphically and uh, interface wise, that it's going to be a sequel to the Enemy Unknown games. I mean, it's the same company that made Enemy Unknown, which yeah. is a different company that made the original XCOMs. Um, but that is sort of kind of an oversight. It doesn't really make sense if you think about it. XCOM two, and it's not the original XCOM, but I think it looks fantastic. I didn't know anything about it whatsoever. I actually happened to check my Twitter that day and I saw that XCOM 2 was trending and I was like, wait a minute, what? And I click it and find the trailer and the pictures and all that and I flipped, um, obviously because I made a mixed stream Mondays about it. But I, I love XCOM. I'm very excited to see them coming out with another game and I think everything that they've released so far looks fantastic. I am pretty excited. and. 
My entire is room that? is shaking. I think I have my dryer on in the other room. I left that on. <laughs> like, what kind of dryer do you have? It's a very violent dryer. It's a, it's a washer and dryer that, like, you turn on, and it kind of runs silently for a while. And like, it's been it an explodes. hour. I have no idea. Maybe someone went in. Maybe one of my... <laughs> Maybe my mom went in and changed it or whatever. But it's the kind of dryer that, like, sometimes it just flips out. And it's like I'm sleeping in the morning. And suddenly the whole room shaking. And I wake up. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> Fallout 4 is happening. Fallout 4. Fallout 4. I step outside. I'm like, oh, it's the dryer. <laughs> Todd Howard has released more details. No. You go outside. You look at the you look at the dryer. Todd Howard's the one who turned it on. He's looking at me. I'm just like, fuck. Todd Howard is, is holding the dryer and shaking it rapidly. <laughs> He's just grinning at you with his squinty little eyes. I'm like, go back to bed, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well. That, oh, that's I was, I was about that. to say, though, um, I've watched quite a few of your Mixed Drink Monday videos, Cax, and I always imagine oh, that really? you have you have blooper reels where you're just oh, like, oh, I that take and after you already drank a whole one, then you have to refill it and do it again. You're like, oh. <laughs> A take you do it again and i'm just imagining there's gonna be one day where you release a mixed drink and it's just gonna be the title's gonna be like mix drank this is gonna be like m's <laughs> and it's gonna start you're gonna be like belligerent drunk you're gonna be like <laughs> you're like i saw a cat this morning and that reminded me there's a new game coming out <laughs> you're just gonna start puking. Later. <laughs> no actually i've had uh i've had a couple of people joke with me about how uh you know, it turns out I actually I'm just a drunk and I drink all the time. And stuff. <laughs> it, it's not like that. For anybody who ends up watching either before or after this uh, this airs, I'm not I'm not a drunk by any means. I actually very rarely drink. Pretty much the only days I do drink are when I do mixed drink Mondays, and it's only one drink. Like I make it a point to sip on it throughout it. Like even when you watch me chug towards or the end of the it video, was that yeah, there was that one I watched recently where you just like down the entire glass. Oh yeah, oh. I did down that one. I'm like he's proud and of whatever he's about to talk to about. You had to go to work like after that. I was like, what? Uh, well, you know, it wasn't a very strong drink anyway. But yeah. No, I'm just... still waiting for the day that the mixed drink Monday is just like, just a bunch of letters is the title, and I open it. You just sitting the there. Next one. Your hair's a mess. Your glasses are broken. You're just sitting there. The bottle, you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> you're twitching in <laughs> Oh, no. Do that one for your next one, Cax. You oh, and at the end, oh, just get mad at the webcam and smash the bottle over it. It would probably <laughs> still get more views than most of my gameplay videos. Ah, And that's the truth. Dude, that's how do you think part. I feel? I, you know what I do for my channel? Fan I read fan fiction written by, like, 12-year-olds. And then he posts, like, his fans, like, on his Twitter, and he's like... I hate my life. Kill me, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of That's his fans genius. are now like Five Nights at Freddy's, like people who like. Yeah. All right. Love you know Foxy. what? I don't wanna. I don't wanna be a jerk to any of my fans, but I'm just gonna read a few of the usernames that are my subscribers. <laughs> Real quick. Did you up? K. Did oh, I was gonna say K. Did you upload your webcam test video? Oh, 140 subscribers. I was at 138 like an hour ago. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you. Um, all right. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus by like checking their channel and telling you if they're disgusting or not. I mean, I mean, you're all wonderful. I love you all, but, um, you're all disgusting. He hates you all. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't read half the names. Colin Van Derkren, uh, Bri Bri, uh, Tabitha Vega, and those are normal ones. Then we're gonna go to the ones that I really love. Um, I'll say this, like, Mike names. Mike six nine oh four six. Uh, Blazing fire with a five nuts at Freddy's OC as a picture. Um, hoodie fan cheesecake. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Go back to that one. What? Hoodie, hoodie fan, fan cheesecake. cheesecake? <laughs> That's the best name. Ever. This one's written in Russian. I can't even read that one. <laughs> Guess the Russian viewers. Yeah, just I don't. Understand. I'm terrified. Same. I'm terrified. I'm just gonna have some husky Russian man walk up to me at Pax East or something. Just be like, Do these people comment sign, on your videos? Sign the my Barkus or whatever. I'll be like, oh. I don't know what you're saying, <laughs> but I love the way you say it. He just like licks the air and walks away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of my highest subscriber. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So I went on one of your videos and I was reading your comments to see if I could find these people, and somebody said. Man, please stop commenting. You're killing me. Oh, yeah, it's just me. <laughs> no, okay, read it, read it. No, go ahead. 
where you're like you're like i hate my life this is i think this is the one where you're like i hate my life so much like every five seconds yeah <laughs> he's like man please stop commenting you're killing it for a lot of people <laughs> yeah that was oh one of the God. recent ones no there was one a while ago where someone's like uh, can you stop commenting? And I comment back, Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I ruining the Five Nights at Freddy's? What was it? The Foxy X Reader experience oh, for is. you? I'm so sorry. Am I am I jeopardizing the storytelling of it? And it was just like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> no, but one of my highest uh, subscriber channels. Actually, I think... Oh, no, my... I, I forgot I have 140. There's still more people. Wow, there are a lot of people. I haven't checked in a while. And then um, well, Reaper is like pizza. Um, wow, actually, no. Yeah, my highest subscriber channel that subscribed to me. Oh, no, it's one of my old... Uh, two of them are old YouTuber friends. One of them's a 4,000 subscriber one. But one of the highest ones, even higher than K, is this 200... And Where is it? You talk uh, about my 273 <laughs> subscriber channel that literally has like animated videos made in Microsoft Paint and they're all of furries. Classy. So that that's my fan base uh pretty much. That's how that's how I roll and <laughs> I I very much want to die. <laughs> I cannot wait for the day of sweet release where I can finally get the courage to pull that trigger. But um <laughs> wow. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm going to go to you your heard it here like, first, folks. <laughs> so, uh, do we right want to... Vaultcast. <laughs> yeah, Vaultcast. Well, dreams come Justin true. Justin wants to kill himself. Dreams come um, true. Uh, <laughs> let's let's tackle the final big bird of no, this whole... No, oh, wait, I was, gonna, I was... I forgot the whole reason I was talking about that. So when you say, oh, my game... My game... My uh, gameplay videos don't get many views. It's like, yeah, I mean, that is sad. Now, my gameplay videos don't get a lot of views. I'll get up to, like depends on the game i might get like up to 50 maybe but compared to like the 3,000 sub uh views that i get for like a fan fiction reading i feel terrible <laughs> <laughs> but i'm uh, surprised that those actually get so many you know what i views. am too that's why i have 140 there's so many, there's subscribers that many that's why i have 140 subscribers there's that maybe many people the that wrong like business that stuff. yeah i it, it, it's 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 disturbing <laughs> <laughs> but uh let's let's roll up to this last topic finally let's and then we that. can uh, conclude this in a bit <laughs> let's uh get off of fan fictions and uh let's talk about metal gear solid 5 which i am incredibly stoked for for sure and i've been stoked since it was announced i have been so excited since the original phantom pain trailer before anyone knew yes. it was metal gear solid yes i had a feeling Oh, yeah, <laughs> I just sure. had a feeling when I saw it the first time. And I'm like, oh, this game looks weird. And I remember seeing the protagonist from behind. I just remember seeing his hair. And I'm just like, no. No, they didn't. I'm like, <laughs> they wouldn't do this. Oh, yeah. They and did. then it came out, and I my, it was blown away. And I am blown away still at how amazing it looks. Each new trailer is like an adventure, and I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, your input on your Metal Gear Solid uh, years of experience. <laughs> Never played it. What Never about played. what about that time that you We've beat? We've already Me talked about this. What about that time that you beat Metal Gear Solid three five times? Oh man, that was so good. Yeah, remember that part where um, the thing happened? Can you tell oh, us about it? Oh yes, the thing happened, and then I pushed the thing, and then I shot the thing, and then things exploded, and oh man. <laughs> I think you're lying. There's no pushing. Anyway, um, I pushed. Oh, you I pushed. only pull. Oh. <laughs> but. <laughs> I, I was going to talk about this a bit earlier, but it's something that I'm very <clears throat> mad about. And it's the it's one of the main reasons I'm pushing towards a PS4, finally. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five drops on September 1st. Oh, Metal yeah. Gear Solid Five for PC drops on, uh -huh. like, September 22nd or whatever. I hate that so much. I hate it, too, and it makes I me hate so it. very, like, sad. I hate it when yeah. people favor other things over a because certain... no one because... no one reps for us PC gamers. It's like Microsoft. Cares you literally about Xbox. have to create the game on the PC. It is not that hard. <laughs> well, they just have to port it, but they're paid a ton of money to release it on consoles before PC. No one's paying to have the game released early on PC. Well, I mean that's what it amounts to. 
Who Pretty who's much. gonna pay us more to come to their console first? Yeah, and though I and though I know this is how it's gonna play out, a year after I, I'm gonna have my PS4. I'm gonna play the game first. I'm gonna beat it by the time the PC one's released, probably, or not. I heard the game's extremely large, actually, but I know at some point I'm gonna get it on PC, and I'm just gonna use that as like a scapegoat for like modding it and stuff. Because that's what I did with Grand, Ground Zero. I own Ground Zero, and I just modded it. Which is very fun, by the way. Um, right. But, like, I'm, I'm sad. Because it's like, oh, why do you have to do that? Like, I would probably not be pushing for a PS4 as hard. If, if it wasn't for that. Yeah, if it wasn't for that. I want to play Bloodborne, but I feel like that's going to come out on PC anyway. And I just kind of want to move on to a new console. So, I, 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 that means I have to take some of my money and I have to go and put it towards a PS4 in order to uh, play a game when it's released. And I, I don't like I don't like that. It's the same thing with Fallout Shelters. It's released, it's selective, but it's like who pays the most kind of thing. So yeah. It makes sense. It doesn't mean I have to like it, though. It's very true. Yeah. Very true. But um, I'm very excited. I think this is the last Metal Gear <laughs> game, actually. I believe um, it is. Well, see, that's the part that's kind of... So obviously, you know, we're losing Kojima. Yeah um after this one uh, but uh, everything i've read and basically the the way it seems to be put it seems to me like konami's still gonna make metal gear games without him and i'm sorry konami no yeah you cannot make a metal gear game worth without hideo kojima that's he why i metal am gear. so worried about that they're gonna be like guys metal gear solid 6 this yeah, takes place and Solid Snake got reversed in age or whatever, and it's going to be like... I yeah, I guarantee I'm... you they make another one. And it makes me sad, because I know I'll probably buy it, but I mean... No, I, I'll be honest with you, I won't, because... Well, it depends on how it looks. I mean, here's the thing. Metal Gear Solid is, yes, mostly story for me. It is... I love this story. I am so invested. The gameplay recently has become a huge part of it, too, because playing Ground Zero, I can see the gameplay in Phantom Plane in phantom pain phantom plane phantom pain um phantom pain they're <coughs> you know oh, what i'm saying um <laughs> it's it looks fantastic like the gameplay is gonna be amazing and i cannot right. wait but like it's the story that i'm really going for right and i, I don't know if if that's, that's it's like metal gear solid revengeance i did not about that story but the gameplay was fun right. and i I don't want them to make more games like that, but I have a feeling they will now. They will. I, I promise you. Give it another couple of years. Yeah, and Revengeance 2, guys. Game. Yay. Right. <laughs> and for me, even if it's just some side game, I'm not going to buy it because Hideo Kojima, to me, he's the man behind what Metal Gear is, and I think if you take that element out, you are completely removing the soul of the game, and at that point, you're just reproducing a title for the sake of making money. Yeah. So you need to learn from Nintendo's... Oh, uh, looks like K just BRB'd at us because she doesn't know anything about Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but they need, to, they need to learn from Nintendo and learn that you can't just milk a dead horse. Uh, that statement that doesn't make sense. Very, but you get what I mean. That sounds very not right, <laughs> Gax. <laughs> you, can't, you can't milk a dead horse. Right? Uh. And, uh, <laughs> but, but really, they, they don't need to make another Metal Gear game. I think they if they were smart, they would end it here and just... Let I think I play. think it will be a beautiful conclusion, honestly. Just I agree. The whole transformation of Big Boss. I mean, they've already this, kind of wrapped up Solid Snake's story. They they, they definitely have wrapped it up completely. Because in Revengeance, in Revengeance, they pretty much confirm that Snake is dead in Revengeance. And Revengeance right. is canon. So <laughs> I mean, they've wrapped up his story. All they have to do is wrap up Big Boss's end, and that's it. We can end it there. And, and I, honestly, the, the way I think is they could wrap it up right there. And if they made a Revengeance 2, I wouldn't fully mind. I wouldn't buy it on release or anything, but I wouldn't fully mind because I understand why those games are fun. But, like, after beating it, it's an insanely hard game, but after beating it, it took me a very long time. I The story wasn't a huge wrap-up, really. So if they went ahead and they did more ride and stuff, and they finally wrapped him up. Like, they wrapped him up in four, and I kind of wish they kept him that way, but they opened it back yeah. up. Yeah. But I just, I want the whole story to just be in a nice package and be put 
on right. a shelf somewhere to be admired. Put the bow on it, put it yeah. back on the shelf, just and just it. let let everybody look at it for the rest of time. Yeah, pretty much. And that's, it's because, a little messed up to say that because, you know, if you told me they were going to do that with Fallout, yeah, We're going to get upset, a lot of hate. We're repping for the end of video I mean, game it, companies. But I really think that... I think that the true fans of Metal Gear and the true fans of Hideo Kojima will agree with us in the fact that you can't make a Metal Gear game without Hideo Kojima. They've already tried before, yeah. uh, technically speaking, with the first Metal Gear game that was ported. Um, oh, Hideo right. had no idea about yeah, it. Yeah, I have that on the NES. Oh, you really? Yeah, I do. I mean, I've played... I've, I I've would played pull it a, out, but it's under... A... I've played a ROM of it, but I've never actually owned it. No, I, I own it. It's just, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, they replaced the final boss, Metal Gear, with a giant supercomputer. Yeah, exactly. And if that's any sort of indentation, and that was, what, 20 years ago? 30 yeah. years ago? If that's any sort of indication of what they it would was, do. They hit the 25th anniversary of Metal Gear a while ago, I think. Right. If it's any indication of what they would do to it now, it's just, it makes me nauseous, and I would rather not see it come to that. I would. Yeah. It's just like, for instance, Nintendo making this Metroid game. Okay, they're just yeah. slapping the Metro title on some other game. They're just pumping like out for people to mess with, yeah. kind of. More reasons for people to spend their money, essentially. Yeah, but for now, I can't wait for Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Absolutely. It is going to be breathtaking, amazing. It is, I think, going to be a beautiful conclusion to one of my favorite game franchises. Absolutely. I, I think, think it'll be, be wonderful. And the trailer they released recently <laughs> has pumped a whole bunch of amazing new like you haven't played you haven't played Peace Walker and Cax. No. You need to play Peace Walker. This I really do. Before. You need to do that for me. Yeah. So you'll understand what I'm about to say. <clears throat> Actually, no, I won't say it. I'll let you play Peace Walker. Okay. Wait, you yeah, did I'll... you play Ground Zero? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, then you know pass or pass. Remember? Pa right. Okay, I don't know how to say her name. Yeah, I don't either. Pass. P A Z. Pass. Uh, not pass. Pop. <laughs> pass. Let's call her P. Um, P. <coughs> P. So pretty much P. Um, you saw her get blown up, right? You got bomb in her. Uh, right, right. Disgusting stuff. Uh, she She's dead. But in the new trailer, you see her. And it's a new model. And she has all of her hair back. But she still has the same scar of a V. And you see they found her inside of... Um, a mammal pod, which is relevant in Peace Walker. You need to play Peace Walker to know what the pod was that they showed okay. in there. But they found her inside of it. And she's alive. And that makes me so curious. I am just like, what? Excuse me? Like, right. she's alive? I'm... I That... It's weird, because she's kind of like a side character that I never paid attention to. And then as Ground Zero came out, she became more center stage. And I was kind of like... Or, you know, Peace Walker, she was pretty center stage. And then Ground Zero, she was main center stage. And now in Phantom Pain, I'm actually very concerned about what's going to happen to her because she was a dead character and she's back all of a sudden. I'm kind of concerned about it. Right. And then we'll uh, at the end, they do. In the end of the trailer there, you saw the twin snakes who are Liquid and Snake, and they are both there. Okay, that uh, going into that, there I was a little bit... I, I knew, obviously, because they pointed out that it was uh, Leon Fonteri, yeah, but how is this is gonna be a dumb question, and you're probably gonna smack me for it. But why is Snake blonde? He was blonde before. Here's the how thing. All right, <clears throat> for uh, Metal Gear Solid One, I'm pretty sure they showed this in the briefing of the game. Snake was blonde originally before heading into Shadow Moses, but I'm pretty sure he dyed his hair brown. Uh, really? He dyed his hair brown for the mission because. He's literally a clone. He looks exactly like Liquid, and he had right. to be distinguishable. Okay. So he didn't okay. make allies, and they didn't see him as Liquid and shoot him. So that makes sense. Yeah. So they literally, he dyed his hair. He had brown hair. Um, originally he had blonde hair. But right. It's not a stupid question. I didn't know that until a few days ago. I had to look. Yeah, up. I, I, I had no idea because I watched the end of that, and I was like, obviously that's them, but why do they? Yeah, I don't know. You know, you get yeah. what I mean. And uh. Just while we're waiting for Kay to get back, she's taking her sweet time doing whatever. I don't know. No, I'm here. Oh, are oh, you? Oh, she's back. Wow. Yeah, how long have you been you. here? Just, I just got back like maybe five minutes ago. Oh, five yeah. minutes ago? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt listening. your conversation. You don't talk she's just been much, listening to you? us mutter about this stuff. We'll talk about games that you can relate to next, Volcast. How about that? Yeah. 
Next time, Kay is going to talk. Next time, we will <laughs> shut up. But um, I'm going to talk about more stuff she can't relate to real quick. Two, uh, two theories. A lot of people are imposing theories now about the Phantom Pain. There's a lot of stuff to speculate about. Okay. Two things. You don't... Wait, you remember Chico from Gun Zero, right? Yes. Yeah, he's a big part of uh, Peace Walker. He's like, you know, a side character. Okay. Um, But Chico... I have this deepest feeling that when you, uh, in the original Phantom Pain trailer, you remember the guy, Istabal or whatever? He's named after uh, the captain in Moby Dick, I think. He's the yeah. guy who helps uh, Snake escape from the hospital. Yeah, the guy with all the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I swear to God, I think that's Chico. Really? Yeah, like, that is my theory. I do not have a bunch of force behind it, but I just have the feeling that that is Chico. Maybe. I, I don't know why. I just feel like it. I it it's probably not right. He's probably just some guy. But um And then my other theory is the is the fact that uh Solidus Snake, which is the third uh clone. Right. I think he's gonna be somewhere in Phantom Pain too, because you have the twin snakes, but then there's also Solidus Snake, who's a perfect clone of Big Boss. Right. I think he's gonna have a place somewhere in the game too. I'm not sure where though. But surely if they're if they're uh putting so much forth as far as uh snake and liquid, I would surely think they would include Solidus in there somewhere. Yeah, I would think so. And uh you know, Jack Jack uh you know, Bryden, he wasn't born before uh, this game's timeline. So he's not gonna be anywhere. Right. Um Sniper Wolf was later in Big Boss's career kind of. So she's not gonna be anywhere. Uh, Psycho Mantis is clearly in the game. Right. Everyone's pretty interested about that. You have that little redhead kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see what they do with that. Yeah, I'm interested why he's redheaded. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> and w clearly they had, like, I I think it might be Metal Gear Zeke, which is from Peace Walker, but it kind of looked like Metal Gear Rex in there in the trailer. Yeah. It, it did a look lot a lot like, like Rex. Metal Gear Rex. That's what make. threw me off. I was trying to figure out why do they already have Rex. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm sure if Rex wasn't, it might have been. It might, Moses. for all we know, you might be able to customize the metal. You could customize the Metal Gear and Peace Walker. Maybe they customize Metal Gears or whatever. Maybe it's a Maybe. transfer. I don't know. I have no clue. But to but... me, to me, if that was the case, instead of making it look so much like Rex, they would have made it look completely different. Because well, they, they want you know how Kojima is. He's just like, guys, look, it's Rex. He's in the game. They're throwing this stuff. Yeah. You're right. So. But, no, you know. Either. We've, um, uh. No, you go ahead. Oh, I was, I was going to say, we just went through all our topics. Yeah, that's where I was going. We have completed the first Vaultcast. Yes, we have. And Kay has said a total of seven words the entire time. I have something to interject. Okay. I actually yes. was waiting for you guys to finish. Oh. Um, Proceed. There was I feel like now. All right, go. No, no, no. There was a uh, idea that somebody had that Fallout 4 developers uh, would be doing paid mods in Fallout 4. Oh, one it's not thing that not about. happening. Yeah, not happening. I don't think That's so. Not I, I actually hadn't heard that. No, because yeah. they did they they did the Skyrim mods a while ago, and everyone was up in arms about that. Yeah, but... there's they were there's no way they would repeat that. Yeah, they wouldn't. Everyone obviously no one liked that. So yeah, and they shut they it said, down so fast. And I quote, currently, there are no plans for a payment system currently, so I don't know. Yeah. But hopefully they realize that literally the mod idea went down in like 22 hours. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it didn't before work a out. Day had, before a day had passed, they had said, wait a minute, we screwed up. Never mind. Wait, people hate right. us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, well, I think we're at the end. Finally. I think we are. I believe. This has been quite a bit of fun, guys. I've enjoyed it. It's been very, very fun. I think so. Me and Cax have had fun. Kay's kind of been here. <laughs> I Kay have will fun. have fun next time. Next time, Kay <laughs> says 27 <laughs> words instead of 25. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. With an interjected <laughs> somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you've all enjoyed the first episode of VaultCast. We are Absolutely. signing out from your Pip-Boy 3000. Or your computer, if you could not get the Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition. But, you know, whatever. I mean, we we can't all be special. We can't all have the Pit Boy Edition. Just yeah, K. K. Just K. What? Because K. K. K.
K-pop did you know? Sucks. Did you know, Cax? Before we go, did you know she pre-ordered Fallout Four on Steam, and then went ahead and got the Pip Boy edition? You son of a. Well, I didn't know about it, and then Cax, I pre-ordered it on Cax, Steam. Cax, imagine with me. How do you think that Pip Boy would feel on your arm? It would feel so, so good. It would just be like, oh! It would fit so perfect. <laughs> so bad that it wouldn't matter for Justin because his arm is gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I bit my nod my arm off during the uh, Fallout 4 presentation, waiting for the presentation. They're like, They're all we have doom. Like, I'm eating my and arm. I was eating my arm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a replacement. These are both metal. Um, they're both like synthetic metal. Um, but that it's too is too bad that you couldn't get the what was it, Solid Snake? Shut uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, this has been a ton of fun. It is we hope a, you've enjoyed it. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Anybody want to do an outro here, or are we just going to say... Let Kay do it. She hasn't said... Kay, do an outro. Bye. <laughs> that Later, sucks. Guys. No, do it better. <laughs> no, I literally don't do outros in my videos ever. I, I, I Ever, ever. I talk way too much in my outros, as yeah, is evident right now. Bye. Later, guys. Butts. <laughs>